Welcome back to the Tower Real Estate Show. Longtime friend and contributing partner here to the network, Joe Laub. Joe, we want to talk about some of the issues, <laughs> legal issues that you know people you know run into. The weather, the weather can be really tough on Lake Tahoe. Last year, ice dams, water damage to homes, uh, some things that you just really can't control. Uh, it's always good to have legal representation. It's a really good point, Pete. It, it's, it's a situation where the weather creates a condition that is either, either someone's gonna get injured or there's gonna be damage to their home. Last year, there was so many collapses and, uh, of, of roofs and, and structural integrity issues that came up. And so whether you're, an, you're, you're right, whether you're an owner, mm -hmm. a landlord, a renter, you're gonna have to deal with the insurance company at some given point. It's just, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. And you always have to be very careful and cautious because insurance companies are professionals. They are well designed to deny and delay claim. And when you think you got a $25,000 claim, all of a sudden it's worth $4,000 because they use their skills and abilities. Right. And people, quite frankly, don't have a, the experience to know what kind of games are employed by the insurance company. So, the, what, re, like I said, whether you're a landlord the, the, or, or, or just simply an owner of a property or, or a renter, the, there's Something about Tahoe, our weather, um, the ice conditions. Um, just our former mayor, I was able to take care of him on a on a slippery type of situation, and it, it's just if insurance companies would do their job right, there'd be no need for us. Mm -hmm. Lawyers would not be they'd be a vestibule organ, and we once had a great value, but we don't have any more. If insurance companies would do the, their job right, but they're so short-sighted, they're trying to get the upper hand on every single claim, whether it be a car accident because someone hit the ice up here in Tahoe or visitors come to Tahoe, um, that you just can't get a fair shake by insurance companies. I've never seen a case where it's like, gosh, they really took good care of, of that particular claim. It's a right. tough one. How do landlords need legal representation? Landlords, tenants, everyone does. And I have people come into our office, whether they, uh, on, on all aspects of it. And there's a, there's a, a, a a saying out there that good fences make good neighbors mm -hmm. and so that's where the lawyers got to come in and try to help resolve the issues and so like when the landlord comes in and dealing with a renter or vice versa I try to give them the best advice non litigation advice hey go try this first and see if this angle or once you bring the other side in I won't charge you guys anything let's see if we can just mediate work it all out and if that doesn't work then we can maybe send a, a, a letter, a demand letter, basic letter, and if it has to result in a lawsuit, then it does, and there's plenty of those as well. And all depending on how people are gonna to react to the opposing side. So like a landlord comes in, they've got a, a renter issue, it's how, how much is the renter gonna dig their heels in, or how um, unfair is the landlord right. going to be and remain. So, and typically when a lawyer gets involved, there seems to be a settling of emotions because the lawyer is now dealing with the the law, not the emotions. So, and one of the, and one of our greatest values as a lawyer is to be neutral, objective, and detached. So we look at the situation, we look at how a judge is going to, re, is going to resolve the issue, and then we try to up implement and impose those rulings, what the case law is, to try to resolve an issue that could go on for years. Hatfield and McCoys, our job is to get it sol solved quickly. If you need some legal representation, you have some legal questions, make sure you call or text Joe. Stay tuned. More of the Tower Real Estate Show coming right up.